Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsha Ali Khan. Till the last video, I have completed 11 problems on computing the income from house property. In this video, 12th problem, I am going to do it. So in this problem, two houses are there. So we have to compute income from house property of first house as well as second house. So if you are watching all the videos at this moment, you might be in a position to attempt any problems on computing the income from house property. The provisions are very simple. First, you have to calculate the GAV, then deduct the municipal taxes, you'll get NAV. Two deductions are allowed under section 24, 24A, 24B. 24A is the statutory deduction, compulsory deduction, 30% of NAV. And second, interest on loan taken to repair, construct, reconstruct, renovate. For all these purposes, if loan is taken and interest is paid, then deduction under section 24b will be allowed. So simple provisions. So before starting the 12th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep reading the problem. Take the screenshot of the points which I have written, then I'll explain. Come on, see the 12th problem. Srimati Indra is the owner of two house properties. From the following particulars, compute the income from house property tax liability if income from profession is 6,9300 and qualified saving 1 lakh. So, house number 1, house number 2. Date of purchase, it is given 15th Jan 2010 and 7th July 2011. So, we are not concerned with date of purchase because it's very long back. Currently, we are in the assessment year 23-24. The previous year is 22 23. Then municipal rental value MRV, fair rental value FRV, standard rental value SRV. The houses are governed by Rent Control Act because SRV is given, standard rental value is given. Actual rent received and interest paid on loan taken to repair the house. Then uh, interest uh, paid on uh, loan taken to repair the house, it is allowed as reduction. Then municipal taxes 10% on MRV, municipal rental value for first house and 12% on the second house. Unrealized rent 30,000, 26,000. Vacancy allowance, vacancy loss 10,000, 12,000. Outstanding rent, no outstanding rent for first house, but there is outstanding rent 15,000 for the second house. The second house is purchased for a price of 14 lakh and part payment is made to the vendor. And interest due 30,000 is outstanding. So one point is saying that interest 30,000 on second house is due but not paid. So Income Tax Act says even if it is due, it will be allowed as reduction. So only for municipal taxes, it is allowed on payment basis. But interest on loan taken, it will be allowed if it is paid or even if it is outstanding, it will be allowed as per the provisions of Income Tax Act. That's all. So first we compute the income from house number one. So here Srimati Indra, computation of income from house property assessment year 23-24, house number one. GAV, first we draw the format. Later on we will take all the values. In working note we calculate GAV. So gross annual value, working note, municipal taxes, 10% of MRV given in the problem. Then we will get net annual value. So GAV minus municipal taxes will get NAV. Deductions under section 24, standard deduction 30% of NAV under section 24A. And interest on loan taken to repair the house under section 24B. Then we'll get income from house property. Now in working note, we calculate the GAV. For calculating the GAV, first of all, we need ERV, expected rental value. Already we know in every problem we have done the same thing. ERV is higher of the following two. MRV and FRV. So municipal rental value 1,10,000, FRV 252. Whichever is higher, 252 is higher. That is ERV. Now we calculate adjusted ERV because SRV is given. If SRV is not given, we can skip this step. Now we require this step adjusted ERV. So adjusted ERV is lower of the following two. ERV or SRV, standard rental value. So ERV we got 2,52,000 
and standard rental value given in the problem 170 whichever is lower 170 is lower that's all now we have to calculate ARV ARV actual rental value the formula to find the ARV is actual rent received plus outstanding rent minus unrealized rent so here rent received plus rent outstanding minus unrealized rent so rent received 240,000 rent outstanding is not there there is no outstanding rent in house number one but unrealized rent is given 30,000 so 240 minus 30 210 is the ARB now we calculate adjusted ARB because there is vacancy loss if there is no vacancy loss no need to calculate adjusted ARB now adjusted ARB ARB minus vacancy loss so ARV we got 2,10,000 and vacancy loss is given in the problem 10,000. Deduct 10,000. Adjusted ARV 2 lakh. That's all. Now since adjusted ARV is greater than adjusted ERV. Now compare adjusted ARV with adjusted ERV. So what do you find here? Adjusted ARV is more than adjusted ERV. Hence, adjusted ARV is the GAV. So, gross annual value is 2 lakh. So, gross annual value is 2 lakh. Because 2 lakh is the adjusted ARV. This is higher. So, we will start GAV is equal to 2 lakh. Municipal taxes are 10% of MRV. MRV is 1 lakh 10,000. So, 10% of 1 lakh 10,000, 11,000. Deduct 189 is the net annual value. Now, deduction. Standard deduction 30% of NAV. 56,300. Interest on loan taken to repair the house for house number one, it is given as 40,000. Take the total 96,700. Deduct 96,700, we we'll get 92,300. This is the income from house number one. Now we'll come to house number two. Similar procedure. First, we draw the complete format. In working note, we need to calculate the GAV. The main complication in these problems are calculating the GAV. If you wrongly calculate GAV, then the whole problem will go wrong. So you have to be very careful, must, must have a good practice on calculating the GAV. So ERV, first we calculate ERV higher of the following two, MRV, FRV. MRV is given 150 and FRV is given 140. Whichever is higher, 150 is higher, that is the ERV. Now again the house is governed by Rent Control Act because SRV is given. So we need to calculate adjusted ERV. So adjusted ERV is lower of the following two. ERV or SRV. ERV we got 1,50,000. SRV standard rental value is given in the problem 2,10,000. Whichever is lower, 1,50,000 is lower. So adjusted ERV 1,50,000. Now. ARV is equal to rent received plus rent outstanding minus unrealized rent. So here rent received is 165,000 and outstanding rent of 15,000 given in the problem. Outstanding rent 15,000 add and unrealized rent is given 26,000. So 165,000 plus 15,000 minus 26,000, 154,000 is the ARV. Now there is a vacancy loss, so we need to calculate adjusted ARV. So adjusted ARV is equal to ARV minus vacancy loss, that is 154,000 minus vacancy loss is given in the problem, 12,000. Subtract. So 142,000 is the adjusted ARV. Now see carefully, adjusted ARV is less than adjusted ARV due to vacancy loss. Because of this vacancy loss, we are having 1,42,000. 142 is less than 154,000. Adjusted ARV is 1,42,000. Adjusted ARV. Adjusted ERV is 1,50,000. So adjusted ERV 1,50,000. Whereas adjusted ARV it is 1,42,000. That means adjusted ARV is less than adjusted ERV on account of vacancy loss. In that case, Income Tax Act says adjusted ARV will be the GAV. So how much is the adjusted ARV? 1,42,000. That itself is the GAV. So we got gross annual value 1,42,000. 
municipal taxes are given in the problem 12% of an MRV. So municipal rental value 1,50,000 into 12%, 18,000. Subtract 124,000 is the NAV, net annual value. Now deduction, standard deduction 30% of NAV, 37,200. And interest taken, interest paid on loan taken to construct the house, 30,000. Take the total 67,200, deduct 56,800 is the income from house number 2. That's all. This is the end of problem number 12. So 12 problems we have completed on computing income from house property. Remaining problem you can do it as your own practice because time is very short. And inshallah in the next video and start another small topic that is computing income from capital gain. So totally five heads we have income from salary, income from house property, then uh, income from uh, business or profession, then uh, income from capital gain and lastly income from other sources. So first we'll complete the small, uh, I mean uh, small head of income because easily you can remember, easily you can write an examination. The lengthy head is income from salary. That will do it later after completing this income from capital gain. So inshallah in the next video I'll start the new head that is computing capital gain.